It is Friday, and you know what that means. It's time to take a look at some of the stories that are making a buzz. Tyler Russell from Crush 103.9 is in the studio. He's going to tell us what's got people's attention, and there's probably a lot this week to talk about. Yeah, we, we, we focused only on Coachella last week, which we're going to talk a little bit about, so that means we got to do s some catching up. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw this, but Kim Kardashian, she, she's oh, going yeah. into politics. Oh, she, yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we, we heard about that. She has announced that in five years, she would like to be the mayor of Glendale, California. The reason is because it's like Armenian town. That was her quote, like Armenian town. She <laughs> said this on her, on her <laughs> sister's show, Chloe and Lamar. There was an outtake clip that was found on YouTube later where she revealed that she was like for sure about running, although it's pretty unclear whether this is actually going to happen. What she doesn't realize is that the mayor of Glendale is a, isn't actually really elected. It's a small council of people that rotates every year between one person, and they serve a one-year term. So I don't really know how that's governmentally well, legal. Maybe she has, to, she has to run for city council first, maybe. It's obvious she's done <laughs> her homework. Yeah, well, no, she didn't know that. <laughs> that, was, that was told to her later. Sorry, Kim, this is not really going to work out. She'll, so. she'll have to go seek some other higher office somewhere you know, else, maybe. I had heard, though, that it was possibly just that, an outtake, and that maybe somebody had just said that, and she was, it was a publicity stunt, and she was just trying no, to No, not Kim Kardashian, a publicity stunt. Yeah, like, she you know, say, oh, I'll run for mayor, you know, that kind of thing. She said she was like for sure. Like, oh, my God, I'm sure. Right, I'm pretty sure that's, a, that's about as solid as it gets for Kim. <laughs> Lindsay Lohan's brother making some news as well. Yeah, that's right. Michael Lohan, who was at Coachella. You know, there were a lot of celebrities last week, and I'm sure you saw Katy Perry was uh, there. Mm -hmm. uh, Andy Roddick, Vanessa Hudgens, Rihanna was seen taking some scandalous drug photos. But Michael Lohan was also in some trouble this weekend while Lindsay was enjoying the festival. He was at the Hyatt Grand Champions in Indian Wells. At 3 a.m., the hotel management had to come to his room because he was so loud, throwing such a massive party. And then about an hour later, they got uh, complaints that there was too much smoke coming out of his room. Really? And actually, I don't know if it was a fire hazard or people were just smelling so much smoke that uh, he, he was in some trouble. They didn't find him or anything. Hmm. But you know, it's interesting. I didn't even know she had a brother. So this is news to me that she even had a brother. The rest of the family has gotten a lot of press, but so he had to come out, I guess. Maybe, yeah, maybe this was his coming out into the <laughs> Lohan press world, his way to do it. <laughs> Big yawn. Yes. <laughs> right. But Lindsay Lohan has a, has a brother, all right. You were talking about Coachella, though. Coachella happening again this weekend. Yeah, I'm, I'm going, as we talked about last week, Tom. This is my weekend to go. Um, so I'm a, little, I'm a little nervous about what to wear because I saw last week how many people are wearing the most ridiculous things. And it's always ridiculous. But this year is more neon and, and just color, while last year was more feathers and Indian garb. Hmm. So uh, these are some of the celebrities that were at Coachella last weekend. And I, I'm, I'm not sure. I have these Ray-Bans that are, that are blue, and this is pretty much the best I can do That's as far the as best. color. That's neon? I don't know. It's a colored sunglass. And if, Tom, you want to borrow these and go to the festival with me this weekend. I don't know. I, you know, I did see a guy walking down the street in La Quinta who obviously had come from the festival, and he was wearing a gold unitard with a beef eater hat. And clearly. I'm, I'm I, thinking. There's a picture of a guy in the newspaper wearing a horse head. And just a t-shirt and shorts. <laughs> but I don't know what, what people think when they go to Coachella, but it, it's a second Halloween for people. So it's interesting to and see what styles show up. Uh, something about Madonna as well, maybe, uh, this okay, weekend. Okay, yeah. This, this is totally just no sources are proving this yet, but it may be that Madonna shows up in the Dr. Dre, uh, Eminem, Warren G set at the end of this weekend with Snoop Dogg. So is this a rumor you're starting, Tyler? Maybe it is. <laughs> Maybe I secretly want Madonna to show up at the festival. I heard I heard it. I don't know. Or it could just be a hologram of her, right? Could, I, would, I would hope it's a hologram of her, actually. Uh, okay. More well, Tyler, when can we hear you on the radio? I'm on 2 to 6 every weekday on Crush 1039. You can listen on your radio or at Crush1039.com. Well, we sure appreciate the buzz from you, and thanks so much for 